My book, The Straw That Broke, is a thriller, but it's a thriller that is focused around conflict over a resource. You know, Mark Twain allegedly said, in the American West, whiskey is for drinking and water is for fighting over. I think I've got an exciting and interesting read, a page turner, something that keeps the reader's interest throughout. I've also got an important message. So if I can both entertain and educate, then I believe I've been successful as an author. My book is first and foremost a thriller. It's been compared to Polanski's Chinatown repeatedly. Straw that broke is about corrupt businessmen and public officials who are intent on stealing water out of the overtapped Colorado River and the radical environmentalists who will stop them at any cost. It's about abduction, murder, deceit, but it carries a really important message about water in the increasingly drier American West. I found after completing the book that there's a whole new genre called cli-fi or climate fiction. I'm happy to have my book recently accepted by clifibooks.com. Well, I've always had the first scene uh, as it is, which is a tragic day in Susan's home. I'll say, I'll say no more about that, throw that teaser out there. It was actually the uh, suggestion of an editor that I move the suspicious climbing accident, which Susan thinks is a murder, to the very second scene and put those two scenes back to back. And I've been told by readers that they're pretty well hooked at that point. The message of the straw that broke is simply if we don't better allocate and manage our water resources in this country, we are heading toward Armageddon. I have three very strong female protagonists. Lynn Burke is a 20-year-old uh, uh, scientist and environmentalist who's abducted early in the, in the novel. Susan Brand is a 40-something police officer who is uh, involved in trying to find her. Uh, Lynn's aunt, Lou Cuvier, who runs Harbor Tours in Vancouver, Washington, gets involved in trying to find her niece as well. And Lou, I have to say, although uh, she's in her 60s, partially wheelchair-bound because of MS, is a really interesting character. She can wield a shotgun with the best of them, and she's the voice of the Planet Earth Alliance. She is the voice of the radical environmentalists in the novel, and I find Lou really interesting in her passion about the environment. Perhaps because I've always been an environmentalist myself, I've been an, uh, an instructor in outdoor programs, I've helped carry people with broken legs out of the mountains, I've hung off of cliffs on ropes, uh, I, you know, I have that kind of intimate relationship with nature, and I, I feel I communicated that successfully to my readers in my thriller, The Straw That Broke. I also have a private investigator. What would be a thriller without a private investigator? Jake Goddard from Salt Lake City, who uh, is a strong character in his own right. I'm getting some good feedback on my bad guys. <laughs> they are the baddest of the bad. There is a character in the book who is about as evil as they come, who is known as the Water Witch. And she... Um, uh, is one of the issues that is not resolved by the end of The Straw That Broke. I actually uh, have begun a sequel called Some Say Fire, in which Susan and Jake return. Uh, Jake and Susan's uh, amb ambiguous relationship, which is growing into a romance, needs to be resolved in the sequel. I've chosen fire because fire is one of the elements that is uh, associated with uh, drier times um, in a very, very kind of frightening way. There's a lot of beetle kill right now and the beetle killer is a result of warmer climates so we got standing dead trees and it's a scenario for conflagration so the second book starring Jake and Susan is called some say fire and there are a few chapters of it at the end of the straw that broke if you don't see the straw that broke at your local independent bookstore your library or if it's not being read by your book club please contact me at my website gziglerbooks.com i'm blogging there i have a uh, facebook page for the book the straw that broke the straw that broke is a great read it's a page turner it's an exciting interesting engaging novel and by the spring of 2015 i look forward to offering you the sequel some say fire where susan brand and jake adard return to deal with some other major environmental issues <laughs>